Welcome Aquarius. We're going to go ahead and jump right into your love reading. But first I do want to grab some oracles uh, from Spirit to see what your blocks are. And then we're, we're going to pull another oracle to see what you need to connect with. And then right after that we'll get into the tarot. So let's go ahead and pull a card. All right. So we have you're putting too much energy into something, creating lack somewhere else. Take action now to correct the situation or risk further imbalance, which can lead to undesired results. Okay, so this is your message here. This is what is blocking you. And then we're going to go ahead and see what you need to reconnect with. Another message, inner strength. Love this. Don't lose yourself in things you can't change. Focus on the things you can change. Attitude, mindset, and energy. You've got everything you need. Okay, so we have inner strength and balance coming in to your reading. Absolutely beautiful messages here. So now let's go straight into the tarot and see what is going on. All right, yes, we do have the three of swords energy, which is all about releasing. Okay, a lot of sadness, grief here too. And then we do have the queen of cups. You're super in like super, super um, what is that? Intelligent. You're super connected with your emotions in tuned with your emotions here, you guys. So it is showing a disconnect with the lovers and that you're releasing something after a very, very hard time, maybe a breakup, a separation, someone you were really close with, felt like you had a soul contract with. And with that queen of cups, this is you rising above something here. Um, this is leading with your heart. And I feel like you have been a very caring energy through this situation. And what is coming in, I feel, is the Spirit of Cups, which is all about fulfillment, new love, um, creativity, new opportunities, new beginnings. Okay, so let's get more into it. And then we'll go ahead and clarify. All right, you are definitely having some type of an awakening. And this, I feel like this person here, whatever this may be with this energy, and you have major arcanas coming in, um, is the lovers. And it's crazy to see that the strength is coming in in the challenge. And that is what spirit wants you to reconnect with is your strength. Don't lose yourself in things you can't change. Focus on the things you can change. Attitude, mindset, energy. You got everything you need. So I feel that there may be some self-doubt and reconnecting with that inner strength of yours, having that courage. You know that you're, uh, you have a pure heart. Spirit is saying you're having a pure heart and there is an awakening. There is a judgment call when it comes to this connection of should I say or should I go type of energy. We do have the page of swords coming in too. Okay. This is more in the past. This energy with the Page of Swords is showing that there may be some immaturity or somebody wanting more information um, here too, but it does look like with the Knight of Wands, they're thinking very impulsive um, with this situation. We're going to get more into it. I do want to clarify more of this person and see what is coming in too. So let's get this energy. Okay. Very interesting to see this. What we have coming in, like coming into the near future is a lot of healing, a renewal and a hope. And with the outcome, it is showing a perspective change, like changing your perspective in something. Because someone here may feel that they're kind of in and out of their emotions here. And they're take, they want to take action. They feel driven, but it's hard for them to commit. And that is what the nine of wands represents. Now, I feel like this person is having a, a knows that you are like, this is all about commitment and stability. Okay. With the queen of pentacles. And there is a sense of wanting to commit, not wanting <clears throat> to lose you but also having trouble to commit and show that stability. So we're going to go ahead and clarify now because it does show that there is an opportunity here, but there also 
is showing a lot of worry and discomfort about moving ahead with that chariot. And the chariot is more of like having that willpower to move forward, right? So sorry about that noise. So let's get into the lovers. This person definitely wants to come in. Whoever this may be, they do want to address something. There is a message here. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. It, it feels that this person knows that there needs to be more structure. For some, it can be a new interest, but it does show that there is a message coming in after um, an imbalance or feeling out of balance with somebody. Nine of Cups is showing that you are very unhappy and unsatisfied and unfulfilled with this connection and how it doesn't bring that happiness that it once had. And the Four of Wands is saying that there's a disconnect and a detached feeling with this person, a disharmony with this relationship. Now, the inner strength, things are very heavy. Things are weighing heavy with that Ten of Wands. And I feel like that's why Spirit is like, there's things that you're needing to release. And that's why this awakening is coming in. Okay. And there are things that are very heavy at this time. And it can feel that everything is weighing on your shoulders here. And that's where I feel like the, the strength card is here to help overcome, to reconnect with overcoming. You can and will overcome this in a way. In the past with the Ten of Cups, it's showing a very strong connection, but also a disconnect once again. Something is very unhappy in a family dynamic or in this connection. And I feel it's to where you had to protect yourself. Um, from this energy or from the situation. But this awakening is beautiful because it's really making a choice for your future. This person is coming up with the death in reverse. In the reverse, there is a need for change. Here. Something is, it's hard to end something with this person. You are on their mind. It does feel that the Page of Cups is here because they're wanting to message you or a message may be coming in. But something here is awakening you. And with this death card, this person has a hard time kind of growing up from this Knight of Wands energy. But also they were pursuing you because they can't end this. They don't want to end this with you here, Aquarius. Okay. They see you protecting yourself and removing your emotions here. They are very, very unhappy. They feel very sad. They feel confused and unclear on where things are going. Oh, we have another message. Oh, we have the four. Yeah, but it feels like you're just protecting yourself here. I, I honestly feel like this person is really hurt, but there's so much that needs to change about this situation because they're resisting something here that is causing a lot of unhappiness within this connection and then we do have the five of, of pentacles in the reverse feels like somebody is very impatient maybe waiting on a message from you getting upset and here it's wanting somebody's in the near future it's recovering from something either with this connection or recovering from this situation recovering it so what I'm seeing with the hangman is that there is a sense of surrendering or letting go of the past, letting go of something to move forward. And it does look like a lot of you guys may be going more independent in the independent route. Remember, the outcome is not always set in stone, but there is a sense of you here with the um, nine of pentacles. There's a sense of you just feeling happy and feeling a whole again in the outcome. And I feel with that page of swords, there may be some information or some communication coming in. But this is you thinking logical here with that king of swords energy. You're coming in, you're thinking clearly. You're coming up very wise in this, in this situation. You're a natural 
born leader with the swords, with the king of swords energy. I just love to see the king of swords in your energy because all it's basically saying that you're intelligent, you're, you're seeing very clear, you're disciplined, and you are logical, you're cool, calm, and collective. And to have that, I feel that you have to remove your emotions to see clearly. And this is you being honest and true to yourself and others and communicating that. So I do see is that there is a lot of recovery and a lot of healing in the near future. And I do see that there is balance bringing back into your life. So that's why it says don't lose in yourself. Don't you lose yourself in things you cannot change. And that is this person. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to get the words out. I think I need more coffee. But this is a very beautiful, like, energy here where there is an opportunity. And but it's like something that's bringing new beginnings, but something else doesn't feel solid. And there's a lot of worry if there's like, should I move forward with this or not? Mm -hmm. And I do like to pull messages regarding um like how they're like the divine messages like how they're feeling at this time or what they want to say to you i'm just going to grab a couple this person wants to tell you the truth they want to reveal something to you we also have confusion i feel unclear again that knight of pentacles that came up in the reverse about where we stand and i'm afraid it's too late to take action unexpected outcome things didn't go the way i planned someone definitely did not expect this to go in this direction um but i feel it's like you saw like something here with your energy it's just like it was just not ha like something was very unfulfilling and it was due to them doing something that kept causing a very sad feeling within you and um i feel like you're having an awakening about this and I do feel that there is a lot of recovering and this person has a heart, like is afraid to take that leap of faith, even though they're coming in with the message. It's like they just can't seem to move forward from this, but also they do have a hard time changing. So that's why I feel like you're more being the king of swords. You're, you're embodying your energy of being very logical than emotional and seeing things from a higher perspective. Um, a different perspective and getting new insight about this situation to where it's making you, you know, have that strength within you to overcome something here. Let's go ahead and grab a card. And we have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your real reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you guys. I hope this helped. I hope you like the new Oracle cards. Um, yeah. And if you do, or if it helped in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys for your mid-November readings. God bless.